Okay, so since I'm doing XRP videos more regularly, I thought maybe I should check out also some news and see what is going on in that area. And one very interesting article that I came across with is actually this one on Cointelegraph with this headline, XRP price falls 15% in three days. Will Ripple's legal setback mark the bottom? Now, this was published a couple of days ago, and I think there are actually some valuable points in here, but I'm going to, in this video, tell you what's in my mind, and I'm not really going to agree with this article a whole lot. So, let's dive in and see what is going on, and in here says, XRP could see a 4,000% rally in the next bull market cycle, according to the fractal pattern reminiscent of it's 2017 price search and this is the first problem that i have with this article you see the idea is that we are having something like this where is it let's just do this and go on xrp price chart let's actually go on a less busy chart maybe from crypto.com there we go the idea is that you take the 2017 pre bull run price action right in here and you just put this thing at this point and maybe stretch this out a bit more and that will give you what is probably next in xrp and here is my question why do we do that what is the reasoning behind this thing for example you saw this thing earlier this is dash's price chart and i do believe that in this chart we are having some great great potential and i talked about it with my members but here's a question this is a similar fractal that we have and it's from another coin and as you can see the moves are actually very very similar we are having a move up in here a move up move down move down right in here and then quick bounce back quick bounce back followed by that continuation of the move down in here also the same again we are seeing some consolidation in here consolidation another move down another move down decent bounce back and final move on the downside right in here now the question is does this mean that in dash the bottom is set because the thing that i haven't showed you in here is that after this final bottom in that specific coin we actually went up and set all time highs now if you believe something like this in dash is going to happen what is your reasoning exactly just because these structures look very similar is that going to be enough for you let me put it this way if you shoot a ball and a score a goal does this mean that i'm going to do the same and is that a guarantee or maybe i have a different personality different power and if i shoot the ball i may not get the same result as you that is my main problem with fractals okay fractals do not give you a solid idea of what might be next and it's all basically based on hopes and wishes and for example let's say okay we are going to get a move up when should we get in on this coin where is going to be our stop loss where is our target these are the things that fractals just simply do not give you on the other hand for example something like elliot fake theory gives you all the things that you need to have in order to identify what might be next and if that doesn't happen what is going to be the alternate possibility so i guess what i'm trying to say is this just because in xrp in 2017 we had something like this if i just go on ripples chart excuse me there we go just because we had this consolidation pattern and because we are having right now something very very similar does this mean that from the current point we're going to get a move on the upside in my opinion even if we get a move up it's not going to be because of fractals okay it's because the right structures at the moment are here anyway back to our article where is it there we go and in here they talk about the sec appeal and they say it may have a negative impact on xrp but the funniest thing it's actually in here if we are going to get a break of this line which if i just zoom in okay you can see this line the next target they say is going to be somewhere around 11 cents and that would be because of the current situation between xrp and ripple and i just do not believe this is going to be the case why we talked about it many many times you see when was the initial lawsuit for xrp it was right in here and the price was somewhere around 65 cents and from this point we went all the way down to somewhere around 18 cents now this was the initial lawsuit which was a lot a lot more important than 
just a very simple appeal and do you believe that an appeal is going to send the price much more further down than the original lawsuit in here did i just do not believe it but having said that this article right in here does actually have a good point you see it says it at the title ripple's legal setback might actually mark our final bottom why is that because in here you see in this move on the upside in xrp after we had the impact of the lawsuit right in here that actually did mark our final bottom and as a result of it from 18 cents we had a 10x move on the upside to somewhere around two dollars so there are some valuable points there but i don't believe that we should listen to all they say in that article so let's see what is going on in here and we talked about this thing before i do believe that this short-term impact because of the appeal most likely is actually going to mark our final bottom in xrp price chart but the question is how much lower are we going to go in this move let's go on our own chart from binance there we go okay here is the situation on xrp according to the bullish scenario we are having five wave up into a wave one and then this is going to be a correction for wave two and after our correction is over or maybe it's actually over already we are going to have a huge huge move on the upside into wave three four five now here's a very important point I think there is a very, very decent chance that our correction for this wave 2 actually ended right in here, about 38 cents. So what does this mean? This means even if we are going to get some more moves on the downside in XRP, I just do not believe that we are going to take the lowest low in here, about 38 cents. And this is probably gone for a long, long time if not forever do we have some more optimistic signs absolutely let's just delete this one okay if you are a new viewer i should tell you that in terms of elliot's waves if you want to argue that we are going to have our final bottom around this area maybe this is going to be like a very important support then you need to find off of the lowest low in this region a one two three four five wave on the upside now this thing right in here is a normal five wave the rules for us are we shouldn't have overlapping of the waves between wave two and four and in any kind of impulsive structure wave three in here is not allowed to be the smallest wave this is a big big no-no in elliot waves and for sub waves as you can see we are going to have five wave up into wave one three and five and for wave two and four for our corrections we can have different scenarios let's say maybe like an abc into four and a wxy into wave two doesn't really matter that much and let's go on some lower time frames okay this is another in my opinion very very bullish sign in xrp because off of this law we are having a very clear one two three four five wave up and followed by that a correction a structure on the downside now on a higher degree i can tell you look probably this is going to be another one and two and then after this correction for wave two is over we are going to have a huge move up into wave three and four and five so you see this is in my opinion another very important sign that suggests you know what probably this thing right in here is going to be our final but now if you want to be a bit more optimistic and you are feeling brave then you can go on some lower time frames maybe h1 and identify like we talked about before a potential five wave impulsive structure on the upside in this move something like this one two three four five and you can argue that even the recent news is not going to cause xrp to go down and take this low this can be in my opinion a very very valid argument but just to be safe let's just completely not roll this thing out and say okay even if we are going to get a move down in xrp we might actually take this low but again overall I just don't believe that we are going to take the lowest low in here about 38 cents. And even if we are going to take this point about 43 cents, I don't really think that we are going to go quite a bit more down than that. Why is it? We talked about this thing so, so many times in XRP. You see, in terms of classic technical analysis, meaning support and resistances, we are having an unbelievably important support area right in here between let's say 41 and a half to about 43 and a half cents why is this thing so important because this is from weekly and daily time frame at the same time and also under here 
were not actually having a whole lot of strong supports until somewhere around the lowest slope all the way down here about 28 28 and a half cents so if we get a break of this thing the next target is actually going to be setting new lows but we said this when we were somewhere around these areas and i said look this initial move up is a correction structure and after it's over we're going to get a move down and in that move we are going to reach to somewhere around these regions and we did reach here and this is the difference this time we didn't get a correction structure on the upside we got a very very solid impulse that's why i want to argue if and again this is a big if in xrp we are going to go down and we're going to reach to about this very important support it is very very likely that we are going to get another very strong bounce back and that will actually mark our final bottom in xrp price chart so let's just have a quick conclusion and wrap up today's video about xrp a couple of days ago i saw this article that says this legal setback in ripple might actually mark our final bottom but in here they say that for example if we break this trend line we might actually go all the way down to somewhere around 11 cents however i just do not believe it and i think this move down which was created as a result of the current situation between XRP and SEC will actually mark our final bottom, but we're not going to go that much lower, you see, because we are having five wave up in here and followed by that a correction is Russia on the downside. And that makes me say, you know what? XRP is unbelievably bullish because we are having in here a one, two. And after our correction for wave two is over, we are going to have a huge, huge move up into wave three, four, five. Sure. We may in here go for some more downward price action, but I highly doubt we are going to take the lowest low in here about 38 cents. And who knows, we may even not take this low about 43 cents. It's definitely possible. XRP to me at least seems that bullish. And that's why if we go down in XRP some more, I am definitely going to see these moves on the downside as a very, very strong buy opportunity. So I hope I explained everything well and you understood what is going on in XRP's price chart. Now, if you are looking for some specialized contents, for example, if you want me to do a complete analysis on your own specific crypto, or maybe you want to learn some decent TA in order to be able to make good money in the markets, you can become a member and ask me anything you want. And until the next video, I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.